Hi everyone and welcome back to Thrifted Living. My name is Kieran. If you hear anything, my dogs are sleeping right next to me as I record this. I just wanted to share a little bit of a thrift with me video. So let's start in the furniture section. I found this absolutely adorable kids table. It's from Pottery Barn. I also found some different cabinets and different desks and dressers. I'm always interested in these items, but I don't have any room for them at this point. And then I saw this white cabinet that had several different shelves to it. I thought it might have been missing a shelf. This metal shelf was also so pretty. I thought this small table was absolutely beautiful. I don't know anything about it, but it has really intricate carvings throughout it. If you guys know anything about it, please let me know in the comments. I think this was like a magazine or a newspaper organizer. I thought it was really cool and I was hoping that it was on wheels, but unfortunately it was not. Then I found some really nice indoor and outdoor chairs at a couple different thrift stores. I thought this mail organizer and chalkboard was really pretty. I also loved these three separate shelves. I put them in my cart, but I ended up putting them back. This coffee table was pretty big and I liked that it had drawers in the front. I'm always tempted by organizers at the thrift store. I also saw this Care Bear lamp and some mercury glass lamps. I found a variety of items in the kitchen sections at several different thrift stores. I like to look at the kitchen items because someday I would like to replace our like plate set, but I haven't found the best new set yet. I'm hoping to find one thrifted just because they can be so expensive brand new. These little mushroom dishes are so cute. I also found this pancake maker, which I thought was fun, and a s'mores maker as well. I think these are probably candy molds. I found this very detailed plate. These coasters were really cool and actually they look like they'd be heavy but they really weren't. We also found a blender and a sifter. My mom actually had one of these for powdered sugar. The sunflower mugs remind me of my mom. This is a painted plate from the story Lily's Plastic Purple Purse, I think is what it's called. It was so intricate and definitely handmade, but I couldn't find any other information on it. I think this is a bread holder, but I'm not sure. I think I've shared this picnic caddy before. I've had one of those for a while at our house and I actually used to use it to organize stationary items. The one thrift store that I go to has an entire back room that's pretty much dedicated to kitchen items. There's also some bedding items and um, some like wall curtains and stuff like that, but it's mainly kitchen items and I always find some really interesting things in this part of the store. Something that I found when thrifting was this absolutely beautiful strawberry bowl and plate. It's so much fun. Sorry if you guys hear anything, my dog Finn is laying right next to me and he is snoring. He's not snoring like all the time, but when he gets loud, he gets really loud with his snoring. So then I found some other plates that I think are so pretty. I really liked this style, but they only had a couple. And then there was another interesting style next to it. So I'm trying to find a whole set. This was another set that I thought was interesting, but I ended up not getting it. I also found this thing, I think it was called a pasta board. I don't know anything about it. This wedding ring cake topper was really fun, and I also found a dog biscuit maker. I've never seen that before. I love this shoe section. It's always one of my favorite parts to look at, and I love finding vintage shoes. Look at these amazing pearl shoes. They were so pretty, but not my size, unfortunately. I also found this pair of matching shoes in two different colors, one in blue and one in pink. And then I found a couple other shoes at this other thrift store that I go to where they always have the most amazing shoes. I've told you guys before, they always have vintage Skechers, but I, unfortunately I didn't find any on this particular day. But I was looking at some of the kids' shoes and I also found a pair of pumpkin sneakers. In terms of decor items, I found quite a few over the past few weeks. Some things for holidays, some things just for general home decor, and I've been having a lot of fun finding different items. I saw these candle holders that I thought were really beautiful. 
I also saw this whole selection of baskets that I just love seeing the different options that they have. They also recently set up a wind chime section, which was fun. And then of course, I'm always looking for the Christmas lights. I definitely bought all of the lights that you see me showing you now. I'm really trying to increase my Christmas light, holiday light decorations so that I can decorate for every holiday. I'm kind of behind though, because we still have decorations up for Easter, but I hope to be able to fix that soon. I also bought these two snowmen because I want to have them out at the holidays at Christmas time. And I found some different ceramic, different pieces of decor, some framed pieces of decor. And I did buy this reindeer candle holder. I think I shared it with you guys in a recent haul. I also saw this Christmas tree candle holder. At least I think that's what it is. And I also saw... I think those are candle holders and then some blue glass with fish on it, which I thought was really fun. Whenever I see pieces like this, I always wonder if it's like actual sand from a place somebody went to. These gold pieces are still at the thrift store. I also saw some framed art and then Sean actually found a music box that was just sort of missing the bottom of it. And we could actually see how the music played on it. That was really cool. I used to overlook the crafting section a lot and I think since my mom passed away it's really made me feel connected to her because my mom loved to craft and was just so creative. So I spent a lot of time in the crafting section and I always try to find things that are helpful for my classroom or you know different items that I can do crafts with but I do tend to spend a lot of time in here just because it makes me feel really connected to her. So at the one thrift store I go to they have so many different pieces for the crafting section. This store also has a great selection of crafting items as well. Recently, I've been trying to find a lot of markers because I realized that I have colored pencils and crayons in my classroom, but I don't have any markers at all. So I've been trying to find some to bring into my classroom so that the kids can use markers to color with. The crafting book section at this thrift store was amazing. I found so many different plastic canvas books, which I've been really interested in plastic canvas. I've shared that with you guys over the past few videos that my stepmom is actually teaching me how to do that. And it's just something that I've been finding interesting. I also saw some book bins that I was thinking about possibly buying to use in my classroom. In the toy section, I found Mr. Potato Heads in so many different thrift stores. It was like a whole Mr. Potato Head theme. And I feel like that always happens to me when I'm thrifting. I know I've talked with you guys about this before, but I'll see one item and then I will see it at so many different thrift stores. And so it's always funny to me when that happens. This store also recently did a lot of reorganizing and so I'm really enjoying all of the different sections that they have for the toys in the store now. And I also found this little corduroy set that has a book to go with it. I know somebody who's going to absolutely love this. Look at this vintage Scooby-Doo plush that I found. It's Cartoon Network. Look at how cool it is. I think it was from 1998. I also found this little Muppet Babies toy. And then I found this dog puppet and I actually already have a few of them in my classroom and my kids think that it's really fun. Then I saw this giant crayon full of Legos or like those big Legos and I really just wanted it for the crayon. These were little Pokemon stamps and some different items in the toy section at the other thrift store that I go to, the one that has the great shoes. And if you hear anything now, I have my dog Pip on my lap and Finley next to me and they are both snoring. Then in the clothing, I found a few dresses that I think somebody handmade and they actually displayed them really nicely on the wall right here. And they were all really very detailed and pretty. I really liked this navy blue one. I thought it was really nice. Then I saw this rabbit vest, definitely tempted, but I didn't get it. And of course a sequin top, again, very tempted, but I did not buy it. I like the way that they had this mannequin set up. I liked this outfit, I thought it was fun. And then this is a 12 days of Christmas sweater. I didn't buy it, but I wanted to so badly. A pair of Snoopy pajamas, so cute. And this gown, I thought it was really, really pretty. And I think they only wanted like $30 for it. This was actually a pencil umbrella holder, which was really fun. And then some different linen items. This was a blanket maker. 
I also saw this huge selection of pillows and I also saw what I think was a beautiful set of handcrafted quilted or crocheted blankets. They were absolutely beautiful and there were so many of them. That's it for today's thrifting video. Unfortunately, there will not be a haul in this video. I actually can't find the stuff that I bought, so that's pretty much why there will not be a haul. But if you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you enjoyed from this thrifting. And if you've been finding anything cool at the thrift store, please share pictures with me on Facebook at Thrifted Living or on Instagram at Thrifted Living YouTube. I would love to include pictures of what you find in my videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.